In this video, I'll show you how to install Blender add-ons. And because this has been done before, we'll go a bit beyond the basics. I'll show you how to quickly find where the functions of the add-on are located, tweak add-on settings, and update an add-on to a newer version, which may not be as straightforward as it seems. Blender comes with a number of pre-installed add-ons, some of which are not active by default. All you need to do is go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and go through the list of extensions. You can activate any add-on by placing a check mark next to it. And you can deactivate it just as easily. Or you can use the search feature to find specific add-ons. Some extensions that I always activate are Redify, Loop Tools, Note Wrangler, and more. Aside from these default extensions, there are a million custom add-ons that you can download and install. There are many places where you can get add-ons from, the Blender Market, Gumroad Shops, GitHub repositories, some people just upload them to Google Drive or Dropbox folders, the Blender Artists Forum has a dedicated section for add-on, which I highly recommend. Some add-ons may be available as a single Pi file, but most of them will come in the form of a zip file. When you download a zip file containing an add-on, place it somewhere on your hard drive without unzipping it. In Blender, go to Preferences, Add-ons, click Install, find your zip file, select it and press Install Add-on. Once the add-on is installed, Blender will automatically focus on it to allow you to activate it. Just place a check mark next to the add-on's name and it will be fully installed and activated. The new features of add-ons often get integrated seamlessly in the Blender interface, so you may have a hard time finding them. One of the most common patterns is that the add-on creates a new tab in the side panel of the 3D view, but the new features can be anywhere in the interface. So a quick way to check where the add-on might be located is to expand the add-on details by clicking this little triangle and then check the location info. Here we see that the Miximo add-on will create a new Miximo tab. And if we look at a more complex example, Rigify adds new items in the Create menu, Shift plus A. It has features in the Armature tab and other features in the Bone tab and even some in the side panel. The location info can be a little bit cryptic, but you get used to it and it is your quickest guide to where the features are located. Now, most add-ons will just work after you activate them, but some of them will have additional preferences that control the appearance or behavior of the add-on. Preferences are found at the bottom of the add-on details. For example, here in Rigify, you see that it can install additional feature sets, which is uh, something that I did a video about. The F2 add-on uh, has a bunch of behavior settings any Miximo add-on, which we installed earlier, has an option to change the tab where it appears. So for example, I can change it to Mix, and you'll see that the tab name was changed to Mixed. In the add-on preferences, most add-ons have some internet links. Some of them uh, may have a link to their documentation. Sometimes there is a way to report a bug. And most add-ons also have an option to remove the add-on. Some of the default pre-installed add-ons do not have the remove button, but all custom add-ons will have this button. So let's remove the Miximo add-on which we installed earlier. So if I wanted to remove the Miximo add-on, I just press the remove button. Keep in mind that this process is not reversible. Your uninstalled add-on will be gone forever and you'll need to download and install it again. So Blender will ask you to confirm and if you're sure that you want to uninstall or fully remove this uh, add-on from your Blender installation, then just press the OK button and it will disappear. Before we move on to the final topic, consider becoming a CG Dive member on Gumroad or Patreon because you'll gain access to unreleased videos and resources. Something that is not covered well enough is how to update an add-on. Some add-ons actually have an automatic updater built in the add-on preferences. For example, the screencast keys add-on has that. Here I can go to the update section and check for updates. In this case, there are no updates available, but if there were, I could press a button and that would update this add-on. Unfortunately, only very few add-ons have this feature, so most add-ons will require a manual update. Here, for example, I have version 1.61 of our own Game Rig Tools add-on, but I know that the latest version is 1.72. Here are the steps that you need to take. First, download the newest version of the add-on. 
then start Blender and remove the currently installed version of the add-on. Then I need to close Blender. Now, if you have multiple instances of Blender running at the same time, close all of them. That is very important. Then start Blender again. And then again, I can go to Edit, Preferences, Install, find the add-on that I want to install. Here, I'm going to install the latest version of Game Break Tools. Activate it. And if I expand the settings, I can check that I have installed the newest version of the add-on. So we have to remove the old version of the add-on, then restart Blender. If you don't do that, the new installation of the add-on may behave strangely or even fail to install. Please click like, subscribe and tune in next time.